Good afternoon. You already know what time it is. It is, what, 10 minutes to three. My hair is doing weird things. Yes, and I have about 10 minutes um, before I have to finish up some work, get back to work, and finish some things up before my day ends at four o'clock. So I have about 10 minutes to spare so we can go ahead and get our exercise in. Let me go ahead and prop you up here and get you hooked into the tripod. If you, oh, I thought a puppy was following me. I guess not. But anyway, if you see a puppy, if you see a cute kitty, ignore them, focus, right? So I'm gonna put you right here in the corner so you're able to see everything that I am gonna do. And let me brighten up the resolution here. Yeah, a little bit better. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I do have on my sneakers, okay? Tank top, leggings, this is what I normally like to work out in. However, when I'm in the gym, I don't work out in leggings. I have like the shorts leggings because I need to have my legs exposed. So just make sure that you are wearing something that is appropriate, meaning you can move around in it and not feel so doggone restricted. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my bar here. My gym bar is right in place. And then I have my eight pound dumbbells over here in the corner. I better get those ready for our, the next um, exercise that we have going on. All right, let me move this treat out of the way, dog bed out of the way. And do we have water? We don't have water, but that is okay. We're gonna push through. The rep count for both exercises is 10. Today is Wednesday. I'll decide on Friday if we're gonna go up. Not quite sure, but we're gonna go ahead and get it in. There is a cute dog right there. Stay focused. All right. Okay. And for me, it's normally that first squat or that first set that's like, okay, wake up body. So I have my bar, the end of the bar in my hand. It is secure. Let's get, excuse me. Okay, let's get started with the squat first. Mm. We have 10. Last one, and 10. And as promised, well, let's go ahead and finish a second exercise before I get the talking, because if I get the talking, I will not focus. One, two, three, four, five, oh my goodness, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go ahead and turn this heat off and I'll bring you with me and talk at the same time. So I know yesterday I did mention that I would do, let's turn this off. Perfect. I will do the exercise or that first exercise with this squat. We'll go ahead and do that the regular way or my way. And then the last two sets, we'll do it the modified way. That way you can really see it both ways. And I'm going to move you over here because I really want you to see how I am doing this move. So this is the second set. First set is done. If you need to go ahead and grab some water, please go ahead and get that done. And come on back and let's get started. Excuse me. Let me move over. All right. You see my positioning? I'm kind of leaning forward. With this exercise, we are focusing on the squat, which is the glutes, the hamstrings, and the quads, and shoulders. Lifting up this bar. Okay? So are you ready? We just got 10. Let's go. Mm. 
Okay, put this down, grab my dumbbells. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I need to bring my ring light down here. It is dark for the most part outside so this is all of my natural light but anyway so now we've already done two of the exercises with this gym bar or this olympic bar now we're going to go ahead and do it the modified way what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring you over here right and let me go ahead and grab my dumbbells Okay, yeah, you can see me just a little bit better. And remember, when I, was using, when I was using the bar, the first thing you do is the squat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the squat first and then we're gonna come up doing a shoulder press, okay? So I'm gonna hold it here. You can use one dumbbell or two, I'll use one. Since it's just one bar, right? So. One, two, three. No need to rush. Four, keep that core tight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Grab the matching dumbbell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Go ahead and grab your water. I'm good. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. And of course, my feet are wider than my shoulders. Let me stand this way, yeah. And of course, I'm pivoting out my feet just a little bit maybe at a 45 degree angle. That way I can really attack the inner of my thighs, right? Let's go. And I like to just take my time. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Grab the matching dumbbell. And let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Put them away. Woo! All right, and let me bring you over here because I'm at my desk. Make sure you hydrate. I was sitting in the day room and now I'm back over here and I need to go ahead and fill up my water bottle. This will be my second 
this will be yeah, my second 40 ounce. And of course I have this right here. Let me bring you down so you can see. Here we go. I got this from Amazon. This from that local co-op shop. I get this refilled for like $3 and change, five gallons. So I just go ahead and get my water this way. I do go ahead and get, um, let me see, let me pull this back up. I do get great value water for the family and for my pets. Um, but I like to drink this water. This water is, what well, it's pH balanced. Um, yeah, for the most part, it's pH balanced. I do not get my water from Walmart, from what I hear. As far as refilling this container, that's trash water. That's what I hear, I don't know that to be true. But yeah, I don't do that. I think I did it one time. And I do taste a difference by getting the pH balanced alkaline water. I absolutely love it. And sometimes I do put a water enhancer in it, like a flavor enhancer. I have some over here and I'll show you. I think I showed you it before. Um, so I filled that up. And let's see, where is my water enhancer? Right here. This is what I'm currently using. And this is the flavor that I am using. The, what, the pomegranate cranberry. And it, just a couple squirts, and that is it. So, I am done for the day. I might do a few more of these exercises later on tonight, just for kicks and giggles. Mmm. Mmm. And I want to show you, yesterday I started doing the, you see it all over TikTok, it's like a Pilates wall sit up type of thing. Let me show you. This is what I've been doing and I am committed. You know, cause y'all like to hold me to the fire. I do it right here and I am committed to getting in at least 25 of these a day. And I'm going to increase the rep count as I get used to it. But I'm right here. My spin bike is right here. My stair master is right here, but you don't need that much space. So what you do is you put your butt I know this is inappropriate. Anyway, you put your butt as close to the wall as you can. Can you see me? And you put your feet up, you spread, you put your feet up and you spread them out on the wall and you just here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and twenty. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. So I've been doing those. Hey, Teddy. I'm good. I'm just all over the place here. But anyway, yeah. So I've been doing those. Um, and they really, they really, really work as far as the intensity. Um, really feeling it in my lower pooch area. Um, I know a lot of women are going to love that, right? So I've been doing about 25 of those per day. I'm going to increase that. Um, and then maybe next month we'll implement that. Let me know what you guys think. But anyway, um, thank you for holding your girl super accountable. I need it. I need it. And I thank you guys. I thank you guys for rocking with me. It's 2024. I have some things in store for us. I ain't going to say, because if I say it, don't do it. Y'all going to come for me. You're not going to come for me. But anyway, so I'm going to kind of keep things close to the chest until I'm really able to implement. One thing I'm not going to be doing on this channel, you should see this puppy. He is just so, so cute, is I am not, I'm going to be careful of what I say and what I promise. Mm -hmm. um, because... You guys be looking forward to stuff and I'm the only child, so I get it. If you tell me you're gonna do something, I expect you to do it and do it well. But anyway, so um, let me go ahead and get back. I do have some things in store. You're just gonna have to wait and see um, how that pans out. And yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow morning for five mindful minutes, God willing. And if you guys need anything, you know where to put everything down below. 
Um, I do. I pray for each and every one of you. I don't even know you, mm -hmm. but I do pray for you and I do appreciate you and just for you even clicking on this video because you didn't have to. So I'm going to go. Me and Mr. Teddy is about to have some cuddle time. Say hi. Say I still have the cone of shame around my neck, right? But he's doing better and he has an appointment on the 11th to um, get his incisions looked at and it looks fine. To me, it looks fine. I've been told to kind of look out for any redness or anything like that. No redness, everything is fine. And he does have another grooming appointment this Saturday. I will not be going back to PetSmart. Mm -mm. We're gonna try Petco. We're gonna try Petco and if Petco don't work out, um, I'm going to be grooming him myself, and that is, um, I'm not, I don't want to do that. So anyway, I'm going to go. I will talk to you guys later. I love you so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye.